me Isn't it my birthday yet? Yeah, Cause I gotta say You're looking like a gift for me Wrapped up nice and neat, baby Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel I am so excited that this day is here It is the day before my hen do today And... I, I've been texting a few of the girls that are coming this morning and I said to one of them, I was like, I, I can't believe it's my hen do. Like whenever I've been on nights out and stuff before, um, you always see like hen parties and things and I don't know, I can't believe it's actually my, like my turn, um, which is crazy. So today is a sort of pack with me video for my hen do. I'm getting sorted. I've had a bit of a pamper, I've scrubbed my body to within an inch of its life, um, I've shaved everything, <laughs> I've, um, what else have I done? I've taken my nail polish off my toes because I had gel on my toes, so I've taken them off but I need to paint them. Um, I've done my makeup today already um, and I'm just taking a quick break from pampering myself and packing to try out something that I bought. Um, I think I bought it last week, end of last week, and it arrived a few days ago, but I haven't had the chance to use it yet. So I thought I would try it out with you this morning for the first time. It is from Silk and Berry. You may have heard of them. And there's this whole craze going around at the moment with um, heatless curls. And you'll probably know from watching my videos that I love to curl my hair. It's how I feel the nicest when my hair is curly um, and I usually use the GHD, well I always use the GHD um, curve wand to curl my hair because I have naturally straight hair as you can see this is not washed I've just brushed it through actually so it is brushed um, but this is pretty much how my hair is like naturally fairly straight um, and it's very thick and heavy so Trying to find something that holds a curl in my hair is quite difficult. So the GHD wave, uh, sorry, the GHD curve, I it holds a curl really well in my hair, so I just stick with that. Um, but I wanted to try this because obviously trying to look after my hair a bit more, to be honest, my hair is usually in pretty good condition because I don't really dye it. Only the last probably six months I've had my roots coloured just to cover a few greys that are now peeping through um, but other than that throughout my life I haven't really dyed my hair it's you know always kept it quite natural so the only real damage that I do to my hair is um, heat so drying it with a hair dryer, straighteners, curling wand so I bought these and look how nice the case is that it comes in it's like a dusky pink and it's got this lovely pale pink ribbon um, this is not an ad by the way, I bought this with my own money um, and inside this pouch you get, oh you get quite a lot, so you get the the silk rope thingy that you pop on your head like this, um, you get a comb, you get two little scrunchies and there's something else in here, oh and a little clip so I'm, like I said, I've not done this before, so I'm going to do it with you this morning. I probably won't, I don't know, I wasn't thinking of taking this with me this weekend because I, I mean, there's a hurricane, like, not a hurricane, but a storm coming to, the, well, there's been storms all week this week, but there's another one I think meant to hit tomorrow. So I'm going to stick with my curve for this weekend rather than trying something new out. But if this works today, I thought this would be great for the next few weeks leading up to my wedding to use if I want my hair curly but don't want to damage it with heat. So I believe you clip this here. It does come with an instruction manual. Sorry, I'm going to look a bit crazy throughout this. But um, So you clip this on top of your head. You split your hair. You should probably split your hair first before you clip this thing on top of your head. <laughs> but there we go. So I'm going to clip that on there. And then, I think you just grab sections of your hair and wrap it like that. And then I think you kind of add to it. And then do you wrap it around like that? 
Oh, and then maybe add to it there. I've watched a few people do this on YouTube. So Zanna Van Dyke is the first person that I saw doing heatless curls, but she doesn't, she just uses a, like a scarf um, rather than anything you can buy. So, I, so you can do it with a scarf. Um, but then I saw Lydia Elise Millen using this and I feel like Lydia has probably quite similar hair to me um as far as like thickness and length oh i haven't been spinning it around this way hang on i'm gonna start that again um yeah i feel like she has probably got quite similar hair to me as in thickness and length so and this seems to work really well in her hair so i thought I would give it a go myself um, yeah so you just add it I think and spin it round um, and I will probably speed this up and come to you at a point where I do something different you could be the part where it all begins You could be the first and the second and the third and the rest of it You could be one of the things I love Sunday morning breakfast with my bedroom door locked They're like everything that has a cherry on top Get on my list of the things I love, love, love you could So there we go, I've just secured the ends with scrunchies feel like it could be a bit tighter I feel like this side probably went better than the first side I did but I'm gonna leave it in and I'm gonna paint my toes and then probably get a few things out ready to put in my suitcase and then I will come back it does say on the instructions to leave it well for as long as you can really so you see results in an hour it says but for optimum longer lasting results leave for six to eight hours so I guess it would be better to sleep in this um, and then take it out in the morning um, but I feel like it's quite loose like it could do with being like that whereas it's like that um, yeah but we will see I'll come back to you and I'll show you the results in my hair <laughs> Hopefully nobody comes to the front door whilst I'm looking like this. So I've just come into our spare room slash my office um, and I'm going to paint my nails and I think, so I have done my fingernails, I did them earlier this week and I've gone for something that I did at Christmas at the... So I use the gel bottle because I am a nail tech now as well um, and I use the gel bottle so I've done my own um, and I used a Biab in the shade Dreamer as the base colour and then for my tips I went for a sparkly glitter in shade um, Blinding Lights. It's the sparkly collection that came out um, just before Christmas. So I've got that on the tips on my fingers and I think I'm going to put that all over my toenails as well for a bit of sparkle because... Um, on Saturday night, I think, I don't know anything to do with my Hindu apart from where we're going. I know we're going to Brighton and I've told you that before. Um, so we're going tomorrow. I'm going to drive to my friend April's house because she lives in Portsmouth. And I'm going to drive down to her, leave my car at hers and then we're going to get the train across from Portsmouth to Brighton. Um, and then... From there, I don't know what's going on. Um, but I do know that I've got to take a going out outfit, which um, I have. And with my outfit, I've got open toed sandals um, that I'm gonna wear. So I need to paint my toes because my toes are, are, not, are not good. My toenails are, from all the running I've done in the past, walking, wearing boots in the RAF, all that kind of stuff damaged my toenails so I always have to have them painted if they are on show um yeah I'm not going to show you them now because they're bare but um yeah so I'm going to get on anyway and paint my toenails and then I will catch up with you afterwards Baby, I will show you how you can catch my vibe And right away I so much time Looping in the blurry lights Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy Cause I got the system, my favorite things You could be the perfect Okay, so I'm just packing up my twins
toiletries and I've popped all my Tropic products in here. I've taken a few more products than I usually would for a weekend away. Um, obviously because I want to feel my best this weekend. So I have, I'll go through with you what I've taken actually. So I've popped a body wash in. Obviously I... Tropic do mini body washes, but I don't have any. Should have thought ahead, really. Um, so I'm taking that one. I've also taken all my skincare. Um, so I've taken minis where I can. So I've taken a mini toner, mini smoothing cleanser. I need to grab a bamboo cloth, actually, because I haven't got one of those. And my serums at the moment that I am going to are... I'm taking Rainforest Dew, because that comes everywhere with me, um, as a primer for makeup and as a hydration serum super greens because of the tamanu that's in it because timing as always with these things has been terrible this week and i've had a bit of a breakout here and here because it's that time of the month for me so super greens has got tamanu in it so to heal those so i'm taking that with me and um ocean dive as well to put on in the evenings and then a pure lagoon as well because again these two come with me everywhere um and i will also be applying ocean dive i've been doing ocean dive every night this week and applying clear skin face masks on my blemishes as well to try and get rid of them before the hen weekend they are healing but i've still got this one i've got makeup on it now so you can't really see it that well but i've got this one here they're like under the skin ones and they're the worst kind because they're the hardest to get rid of but they are going and that is thanks to ocean dive being applied every night and putting clear skin face mask on them and i also then oh is that leaking yeah, and then I also leave the clear skin face mask on overnight to really dry them out. So that is my go-to at the moment for clearing up my hormonal breakout at the most inconvenient time ever. So I've got those serums. I've got my night cream, so my skin dream. I've got my eye work, my um, morning eye cream that I put on and my eye dream that I put on in the night. I've got a skin feast. I don't have a mini one of this at the moment, so the full size is coming with me. Um, I've also got a couple of cotton buds in there to apply my ocean dive. I'm going to make sure that that isn't leaking. Um, I've also got my clear slate because I'm also double cleansing, which is something that I can get a bit slack with sometimes. And I'll just do a single cleanse on an evening. But again, to help my ble blemishes this week, my breakout that I've got, I've been double cleansing every single night. So that's coming with me too. Um, and then body stuff. I've got obviously my Feel Fresh. I've already told you I've got my body wash in there. My Feel Fresh deodorant. And I have done it this morning. So you'll have seen that I did. Um, I used the Body Smooth, our body scrub, to make my, my skin super silky smooth. And then I've also been applying this this week, which is the Summer Skin Gradual Tanning Lotion. Um, and I am going to take that with me as well, probably to apply on Saturday morning. And then I'm also going to take the Instant Glow, just in case, because my outfit that I've got for Saturday is like a bit exposed here. My arms are out. So if I wanted a little bit more colour, or a bit of a shimmer. In fact, the colour that I've got now is actually quite nice. Um, but if I wanted a bit of a shimmer or I wanted a bit more colour, then I'm taking the instant glow as well. And that is all my skincare body care that I'm taking. So that's fit nicely all in there. My really nice Tropic toiletry bag. And then my makeup, I'm going to sort out what colours I want to take in my makeup palette because I might change it up a little bit in here so that I can keep my makeup to a minimal and I might even be able to fill it fill it all in here but if not then I'll take one of my other makeup bags so I'm going to sort that out now and then put it on the bed with the rest of my stuff okay so I've left my silkenberry in four about I think it's about an hour and a half so I'm going to take it out um because I'm not particularly going anywhere today I just wanted to try it out to be honest so let it let's see what the result is after an hour and a half obviously if I was going to do this like all day I would leave it for longer and probably 
leave it in overnight to be fair or if I was going out in the evening and if this is good then I would leave it in all day but not going out this evening so let's see So I feel like it's given it a nice wave. Yeah, I feel like it's given it a nice wave. It's not particularly curly, um, I wouldn't say. Not how I usually do it with my wand. But for just an effortless wave, I quite like it. I don't even think it needs brushing through with a comb um, because they're so loose. Because my hair is so long and thick, I think for me, I would definitely have to leave it for longer to get a proper curl. But I like the effortless wave that it's given and it looks like I've made more of an effort with my hair than I actually have, but yeah, I definitely have to leave it for the six to eight hours if I wanted it to look really good. So I will, um, I will use it again and probably leave it overnight next time. And then when I do that, I will show you the result. Um, but I feel like it's given my hair some nice body, um, considering my hair is usually dead straight. So yeah, quite like it. And I can see that if I did leave it for longer, then it would be really nice. But I feel like this side is a lot better than this side. So I definitely need some practice. So if you've used this sort of heatless wave method, then any tips for actually doing it, then please let me know because yeah, this side is definitely better than this side. In fact, they look really different. So yeah, anyway, for just, dossing around the house today. It's not too bad. <laughs> okay, so now I'm not looking completely crazy with um, with that on my head. I'm gonna show you what I'm packing for my weekend away. Although, I feel like I'm not taking very much. I'm kind of struggling because I have no clue what we're doing. I've got no idea what we're doing Tomorrow, when I get there, I've got no idea what we're doing Saturday. And obviously Sunday we'll just be get dressed and come home, I imagine. But, um, so I've popped my underwear in, you don't need to see that. But, I have also got my pyjamas. I'm taking my Love Heart ones. These are from Forever Unique. Um, I'm also taking a white dress, um, in case I need another dressy outfit. That This one here is my Nadine Marabi, that is my main outfit, that is my main going out outfit, which you will see, if you follow me on my Instagram, you'll have probably seen me post that already by the time you see this video, because this video is going live on Sunday and my Hindu will be over by then, sad times. Um, my shoes that I'm wearing, I'm taking my Saint Laurent, I think they're Tribute heels, I've had these for years, um, but they're so comfy because they have a bit of a wedge at the front and they're not the highest heel that you can get either. So they're really comfy um, and I will be happy to dance the night away in those. I'm taking those and then of course I'm taking my wifey for lifey Sophia Webster handbag with me for Saturday night too. And then here's my little white company jewellery box. Um, I, they're like old rings, like my mum's two rings. My very first ring that I got bought when I was like nine years old, I still have it. It used to go on like my middle finger, I think, but it doesn't, not a chance does that fit me now. <laughs> but I still have it. Um, and then my other ring my mum and dad bought me when I was 19. Um, I'm taking my Louis Vuitton um, silver bangle to wear. And then I've got a couple of like gold necklaces, my Astrid and Mew. Um, star sign necklace and I've got a um, Anna Louisa chain here with a little sun on it so because I think my Saturday night outfit will 
probably look quite good with a necklace so I'm taking them um, and then my toiletries that you saw me pack my makeup is in there and then perfumes I'm taking with me are Black Opium by YSL and Coco Chanel Mademoiselle um, which has been my favourite since I was 18 and this has been my another one of my favourites for quite a number of years so they are my two like going out perfumes my special perfumes um, and that so far is what I'm taking um, I feel like I need to pack an, a, a daytime outfit so tomorrow I am going to be wearing I'm still waiting for it to arrive to be honest I keep looking out the window for the postman um, I've had a notification saying that it's going to be delivered between 12 and 3 it is now 5 to 1 and it's not here so I will show you that when it turns up but I've got some jeans out that I'm going to wear tomorrow I've got these H&M like creamy beigey nudie colour jeans that I'll wear with some trainers and then the top I'm going to wear is what I'm waiting for so that's going to be my outfit tomorrow and from what they've told me I don't think we're going out tomorrow night so I think that outfit might do me for the whole of tomorrow and then just put some pyjamas on and then Saturday again I don't know what we're doing during the day on Saturday so I feel like I need a top for Saturday and jeans and um, I might text them actually because this is the struggle this is this is the hard bit like knowing what to pack I've, they said just bring a going out outfit but I can't wear a going out outfit all weekend um, so I think just casual clothes so I might pack my black jeans and I'm really loving going with the white theme because I'm gonna be the bride um, of course so I feel like black jeans and a white top. Do I take a jumper? Because it's going to be windy and quite cold this weekend, I think. So, oh, I don't know. I don't know. I wish you could help me out. But by the time you see this video, I'll have already... Oh, the toilet. <laughs> um, I'll have already been on my hen do, so the problem will be over. Um, mm, not sure but they are the like dressy things that I'm taking my white dress I didn't really tell you about but my white dress is like a puff sleeve midi dress um, from House of CB I've had it a couple of years now um, and yeah the only other thing I need to pack is some more casual clothes so but I'm gonna wait till my jumper arrives that I'm gonna to wear tomorrow and show you that. And then I will get everything in its case and I'll be good to go. Okay, for Saturday, my casual outfit, I think I'm gonna take black jeans to wear. I'm not gonna go along the white theme for Saturday, I don't think, but I'm gonna wear this happy wifey t-shirt. I was gonna save this for after we're married and I'm an actual wifey, but I feel like it's close enough. I think I'm going to take this for Saturday. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to take this. So it is about, I don't even know what time it was I last spoke to you. About three hours ago, I think. It's now ten past four and I've literally been waiting in all afternoon for this parcel to come. Royal Mail messaged me or sent me an email saying that it would be here between quarter past 12 and quarter past 3 this afternoon. It's now 10 past 4 and it still isn't here. Oh, it says it's out for delivery, but this is such a pain. Like when you wait in for a parcel to come to make sure that they don't take it away again because you're not in and then they don't even turn up it's so annoying um hair update as well completely straight <laughs> it didn't last an hour to be honest and i reread the um instructions as well and it does say to do it when your hair is like 80 percent dry so my hair was completely dry because i haven't washed it today so maybe i need to do it once i've just washed my hair and it's like a little bit wet or a little bit damp still 
and leave it in overnight because my hair is just so long and heavy that yeah so that's a bit of a well a fail for now is what i'm gonna say i am gonna try it again overnight i think um but it will probably be next week at some point because i'm not gonna risk doing my hair like that for my hen do um and then it going completely flat so i'm gonna stick to my ghd <laughs> curve um and then try the silk and berry thing again next week and i will update you um but apart from my parcel coming today which actually i don't have to pack because i was planning on wearing that tomorrow um i'm good to go i've got my case i showed you what was in my case earlier um but i'm gonna have to end the video here because i need to edit it tonight so that i can get it scheduled to be uploaded on sunday because i'm not planning on taking my laptop with me so bit of an anti-climax but and i feel a little bit deflated if i'm honest that it's not turned up because now i'm worrying that it's not going to turn up oh, so annoying because i ordered it it's basically a jumper from six stories they do like bridal wear and they launched these jumpers on monday this week and i messaged them saying it's my hen do at the weekend will it get to me by friday because i need it by then otherwise there's no point me ordering it um they were like yes if you order it on monday it will be to we can have it to you by the 16th which was yesterday wednesday and i had the email saying it was going to be delivered today so i was like okay that's fine and now it's not delivered <sighs> so annoying i was so good as well as soon as they launched at eight o'clock on monday morning i ordered one which is a bit like i did because they sold out in six minutes and now it's not even here mm. <sighs> so annoying anyway life goes on hen weekend will proceed without with or without this jumper it is not the end of the world first world problems so yeah i'm gonna end the video here um and my next one will be of my hen weekend and you'll find out if i got the jumper or not <laughs> oh have a lovely weekend and i will catch up with you in the next video of my hen weekend where you will probably see i don't think i've been drunk on my channel before you'll probably see a mixture of me a tipsy charlotte a hungover charlotte which you've seen before you've seen a hungover charlotte before but there's gonna be the good the bad the ugly i think in the next one but uh yeah but it'll be really good because you'll get to meet um a lot of my friends um in fact i think maybe one or two of my friends that are going to be there this weekend have featured on my channel before um and i think there's going to be about eight of us so it'll be really good and um yeah you'll get to see some of my friends because i know i don't have them on my channel very much because i don't see them very much to be honest so um yeah be really nice to introduce you to them all and um and just have a really nice time with them like i said have a lovely weekend thank you so much for watching to the end listening to my rant i don't do it very often on here but annoying <laughs> anyway chat to you soon bye